Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the new Olympus TG5. Now, this is the newest in Olympus' lineup of tough cameras, so that means it's gonna have a lot of the hardiness that we've seen on their previous tough cameras, but it also gains a surprising number of high-end features on it. A lot of this has to do with the fact that this camera has the same uh, image processor inside of it as the uh, Olympus EM1 Mark II, their flagship camera. So we're gonna see a, a number of features from that camera actually carried over to this one as well. It also has a number of tracking features which have been carried over from the TG tracker and put into this camera as well. Let's start though with a look at the body of the camera. So the camera comes in a black and a red model. I have the red one here. It's a compact camera, so it's obviously fairly small. It's gonna be able to be fit in a jacket pocket, even a pants pocket. One of the main points about the camera though is the build quality. So it carries that Olympus Tough moniker, and it's definitely one of, if not the most sturdily built compact cameras on the market. All of the Olympus Tough range is really, really solidly built. This thing is a tank. So it's shock proof at up to 2.1 meters or seven feet crush proof up to 100 kilograms, waterproof up to 15 meters or 50 feet, and freeze proof up to negative 10 degrees Celsius. So this camera is gonna find a natural home with adventurers, sports enthusiasts, or just people who want a camera that's not gonna break even if they don't treat it super carefully. Its buttons and dials are easy to control and they're designed with the aim of being able to be operated even if you have gloves on, so they're nice and, and large and, and easy to operate. The menu system is similar to many Olympus Micro Four Thirds cameras, if a little bit simplified compared to those ones. On the front here, we have a removable ring and you can get some accessories to slot in here, such as a filter thread that's gonna allow you to attach 40.5 millimeter filters, a fisheye converter lens, a flash ring adapter for macro work, and some others as well. We also have anti-fog protection on the lens here, so if you rapidly change temperatures, for example, taking it out of a bag into a, a cold environment, uh, it's not gonna fog up. There's also a USB and HDMI port on the side and the battery and SD card slot go in the bottom here. The battery is rated for about 340 shots. We also have built-in Wi-Fi as well as those tracking features that I mentioned. Specifically, it's GPS, compass, a manometer to determine altitude and a thermometer. And I'll touch on those a little bit more in just a moment here. So it's a 12 megapixel F2 to 4.9 camera that will shoot RAW or JPEG. Now at F2 on the wide end, that's fairly bright, so it'll do all right in low light conditions, at least as, as well as about a compact can be expected to. Now at 12 megapixels, that's actually a decrease in resolution compared to the TG4, which was 16 megapixels. Olympus claims that the pixels on this camera are larger and therefore that will increase the picture quality even though it's a slight decrease in resolution. Now the camera has a four times optical zoom, giving you a zoom range of 25 millimeters to 100 millimeters. And it does have a built-in optical image stabilization, which is gonna give you about two and a half stops of uh, image stabilization. That's gonna be useful shooting in low light because you can shoot at a lower shutter speed uh, more effectively and for shooting handheld video because it's gonna stabilize some of your video shots there. So let's touch on some of those higher end features that I mentioned at the beginning here. Uh, so we've got Pro Capture here on the TG5. We saw this on the Olympus EM1 Mark II. Now this is a mode that's particularly good at letting you get uh, action shots when you're not exactly sure when the action is going to start. So in Pro Capture mode, you press the shutter button down halfway and it's going to cycle through shots and it's going to keep the last 14 shots in your buffer and continuously cycle through those. When you actually press the shutter button down all the way, those whatever the last 14 shots you have there are going to be saved to your card as well as whatever you shoot normally. Uh, so if you're not exactly sure when the action is gonna start and you're maybe a second or so behind on pressing the shutter button, you'll have those last 14 shots so you should be able to get uh, that action regardless of if you're a, a, you know, a moment behind and actually taking the first photo. Next, we have live composite mode. This is a uh, popular feature on a number of Olympus cameras. It's essentially an easy way of taking long exposure shots. It lets you build the exposure on your screen and only records changes in light so you can watch the exposure build up. It's never gonna overexpose and ruin your shot if you had the shutter speed too long. Uh, and you can basically choose when you wanna stop building it when you're happy with the shot. So a, a nice feature for shooting at nighttime stuff and low light. We've also got uh, time-lapse, focus peaking, and 20 frames per second burst shooting on this camera. So that's gonna be great for any kind of fast moving action. A very high frame rate is gonna be very useful for that. We also have the excellent microscope mode, which we've seen on some of the previous TG models. This lets you take a photo at up to one centimeter away from your subject. So extreme close-ups, really good for interesting macro stuff and giving you a different perspective. 
Uh, one of the accessories that you can get for the ring at the front here essentially turns your flash into a ring flash, which is going to be particularly useful if you're doing a lot of these close-up stuff. So a very interesting way to get some uh, different perspectives on, on things. Looking at video, the TG5 can record 4K video at up to 30 frames per second. So you've got access to very high resolution video, which is becoming more and more important these days. Also at 1080p, it can shoot it up to 120 frames per second. So you can get some nice slow-mo footage out of the camera. Again, that is geared towards, you know, action uh, shots and so on is going to make that very useful because often you want action stuff to be in slow-mo because that looks cool. Uh, so very good in the video department as well. Lastly, we've got the tracking capabilities, which were brought over from the TG Tracker, which was out last year and put into the TG5 here. So as I mentioned, the, the camera has a GPS, compass, manometer for altitude and a thermometer. And you can put the tracking functions on even if the camera itself is not on. So you can put it in your bag and have it be tracking your trip. And afterwards, you can connect it to the, uh, the Olympus OI Tracker app. Uh, and then you can view, for example, the map. So the route that you've taken, you can uh, have see where you took photos or video on that map. You can overlay the tracking information on the videos that you've taken and so on. So a lot of functionality here. Uh, if you want a little bit more information on the tracking aspect, watch my video on the TG tracker here, uh, but it does make its way into the TG5, uh, definitely making it more applicable for travel and adventure applications, certainly. So the Olympus TG5 is definitely a premium, rugged, compact camera. They've put an impressive number of higher end features in a small camera body that can really take a beating. I think it's gonna be very popular with uh, adventure and travel and sports enthusiasts, or really anyone who wants a camera that can, they can really bring anywhere uh, and you know abuse it a little bit, and it's still gonna do fine while also having good performance. It's definitely not the cheapest rugged camera on the market, but it is one of the best. Now you can uh, order the TG5 on our website at www.digidirect.com.au or come into one of our stores and have a play. We've got stores in the Sydney CBD, Bondi Junction, Miranda, Chatswood, the Brisbane and Melbourne CBD and Cannington, Western Australia. Thanks guys, take care.